Any sense? Any sense? There are people out there on the streets. They are starving. What would you do? They are starving. Okay. So please, I'm begging everybody in this house. Take your pot. Cut your pot according to your size. Take what you want to know that you can eat and finish. If you can't finish, I beg you. It's a personal something to me. It's a personal something to me. It's a personal something to me. I've seen beggars out there. They are they are dying on the streets. They are looking for for for. Hi guys, you guys are welcome. How are you doing? And I hope you're doing okay. Wow, so this news broke and i've been trying to put myself together it's a sad one so an ex bb niger housemate rico suave passed okay so yesterday um in my video yesterday i put it because Alex put up this post saying that he was involved in a ghastly muscle um accident that we should please um pray for him that the doctors are trying to resuscitate him so the management released um the clip you saw earlier or more the accident is not a small something did you see that car like i'm like where did the engine go and everything ha god then then again toby bakare was also put up they put up this picture he was on live support and they said um you needed 30 m that people should contribute the link was low then toby put up the mom's number you know, people were responding because the bills were piling up. They were trying to bring him back. So with our prayers and all, the management now came out to put out those posts saying, um, Hello everyone, Rico Suave is not disposed to handle his socials right now as he was involved in a ghastly accident and is currently on life support. While his situation is critical and the doctors are on him, we implore your support and your prayers management so well we're still praying and you know donating contributing people were spreading the news and um toby now broke the news today that the guy passed rico suave passed he didn't make it we lost him but thanks a lot guys god knows best and he says this is how i will remember us brother so the first clip I put is actually Rico in Big Brother Niger House. Maybe for people who didn't watch, all the condolences, all the things that have been said about him are all beautiful. Ebuka, Groovy, Groovy even met him on Sunday. Yes, so a lot of people have been sharing their encounter with this lovely soul. And it's been making me sad because I'm like, this life, all those things we're dragging right all those things we are at each other's neck today we're here tomorrow we're not and someone says rico's death has taught me to everybody add death in your plans right and not even think it can happen anytime okay so ebuka says the actual warmest human being this is truly heartbreaking rest in peace rico like if you somehow if you sorry i don't know how to explain the feeling that Rico that was supporting Fina, Groovy, Chums, you know, help supporting the housemate. Even said, talked about the video getting married next year. Now we're all coming to type something like um, RIP, right? Ha. Okay. They said, this was where yesterday when they said he's on live support. BBN Nijasta solicited 30 million for treatment. This was the Cable Lifestyle reporting. And people were like, you know, the link even wasn't even working because everybody wanted, really wanted to donate. Then again, he needs us more than now. Please, nothing is too small. It's a difficult time, you know. Honestly, to me, when I felt like God, this guy will come out strong. But then again, I saw the accident. I said, wow, this is very serious. Because when um, Alex said it, we didn't really know the depth 
until the management release that clip the next thing i'll just pray in god they are back help this guy because this person will survive this kind of accident wow then i told you guys on the 8th of october he said on oh, more davido and trauma getting married davido and trauma getting married next year is a news that gives me joy assurance is ensured congratulations to both of them david said in london that he was going to get married to trauma next year that was the buzz of the time and this was what rico suave tweeted now someone says that the guy isn't even around man didn't even live to see next year rico r.i.p rico suave like le- even i'm talking you're reading you're watching this video everybody's you know going around their way like we're sure so that we'll see tomorrow we'll, we'll make plans some of us have plans for next year some of us have plans for next week some of us have plans for next month but i mean going out and coming home safely is underrated i'm telling you um i hope this unfortunate incident with rico suave makes us take a sober reflection about the essence of life and what living truly means in the end is not about the bling houses girls it begins and ends with positive impact my brother you know when someone passes like this the sober reflection everybody is thinking i don't know why it's made in such a way that give it like one month one is not one week then we all go back to our lives well um i think this group is management because this video was taken on sunday I had told Groovy that Rico was around. Immediately he went over and said thank you. I remember how you came by her during Ozo's time and how you were there for Groovy. You were always remembered. God bless your soul. Rico. So um we also have Emmanuel saying, um, you have fought a good fight, you have finished the race, you have kept the faith. Now it is just now there is in store for you the crown of righteousness which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award you on that day. Not only to you, but also to all who have long um, for his appearing. So Groovy Mono says, this is so unreal. This was just on Sunday at the winner's party. My team had told me Rico was around and I immediately went over to say thank you to him for all the support and love. We lost a real one. God give your family strength to bear this loss. R.I.P. Rico. Wow. Like, like, it's true. Like, it's very true that this guy is gone. Okay. Don't you, David, says my deepest cons- condolences. Sorry. To his family, mm-hmm. friends, and loved ones. Praying for everyone. No more. The family needs prayer. I mean, the guy is just stealthy, like three zero. Hmm. Daniel, you know Daniel that that has become influential for responding to tweets. He says Rico's death is truly heartbreaking. Okay, and also by judging by what people are saying that um about him, that it seems he's a beautiful soul. What he lost, his deepest condolences to his family. May God strengthen them and help them overcome this irreplaceable loss. Gone but not forgotten. R.I.P. to Rico. Beverly. Beverly says, was praying he wouldn't get to this. R.I.P. Rico. He was literally the sweetest soul. Working with him on Tinsel was always such a joy. Always smiling, always joking, always laughing. Wow, this is heartbreaking, gone way too soon, praying for his family and loved ones. Like, check all his pictures. He's a cool guy. Yeah, he's a very calm guy. Then Prince of Big Brother, Prince Nelson, also said, um, R.I.P. to him, that he will be missed. Okay, Prince is in his set. His set are uh, Toby, Alex, Sissy, Miracle. Um, what is his name? These people that got married. Teddy A, Bam Bam. Yes, that was um Rico set. Season 3, actually. Um, Chomzy's addict says Rico was the only celebrity that openly rooted for Chomzy. R.I.P. Rico, it's so sad to say goodbye. And these were tweets where he was trying to encourage people to vote Chomzy. 
that she's the only competitive female in the house. Wow, Ni Lawan is saying, so sorry about your death, Rico. Keep resting in the bosom of our maker. Your legacy lives on. R.I.P. Um, Rico. So R.I.P. Rico is become real. Yes, because I mean, it's all over everywhere. And those very close to him announced this. Okay, this journey has come to an end at 29. I thought, okay, maybe he's going to be 30 this year. Well, praying for his family, praying for the family of Patrick um, Fakoya, aka Rico Suave, the big brother Niger season three housemaid, battled hard to stay alive. But he's gone, he's resting now. Wow, the more tears they drop from my eye like this. Alex was the first person that broke this to us. She said this was not what we agreed. Rico, um, rest in peace. You know they say we can't waste young God, right? Well, as we are seeing all this, we should just have to, you know, have this um retrospect into our own lives and just know that um, nothing is guaranteed and nothing is pro promised. So, so says, um, leaving your house and going home safely is such an underrated blessing. All right, Rico. All right, guys, I'm going to end this video here. I pray I find strength to even walk today because, I mean, it's a lot. Thank you for watching. If you got to this point, God bless you. Bye.